We all love smoking from bongs, I know I do, but how often should you clean it to keep it optimal for personal use? And especially if you're going to let your friends smoke it, how do you keep them from sucking down some swamp water? That is going to be covered in today's video. So I've been smoking out of bongs for a long, long time, and I have smoked a plethora of different cleanliness levels of water and it always annoys me especially now how dirty some bongs get i've been looking on these reddit pages and you would not believe the things i have seen i the more i smoke with people the more i realize that i might be the only one in my friend group who really cleans their bong on a regular basis how do you keep your water from getting brown green moldy dirty tasting like shit, like an actual swamp, we're gonna go over that right now. So if a dirty bong is something you want to avoid, first thing I recommend is instead of waiting to change your water every other time, every five times, every like once a week, change your water every time you have a smoke session with your bong. This is not only going to keep your bong cleaner, for longer, it is also going to stop buildup from happening, like the bacteria in the water you already have. Especially if you're getting your water from a kitchen sink and it's got some hard stuff in there or it has some living microorganisms, whatever's in your water. Switch it out every single time and you will see less buildup and a lot less caked on stuff. But let's get into how often you should actually go in and do a full blown clean of your bong. The best answer I could give you is once you start seeing things build up on an irregular basis. One thing you're going to notice is that your nectar collector is going to collect nectar. It collecting nectar is not the worst thing. It collecting resin, it getting a little bit caked up in resin, isn't the, necessarily the worst thing for your bong. But what you do need to look out for is paying attention to seeing if mold is there, if it smells like it's not Reclaim and it's something even dirtier than Reclaim, you'll definitely want to uh, wash your bong out and you're going to want to get rid of the buildup. Uh, if it's a clear bong and you can no longer see through it or it is cloudy, it might be a good indication that you should go through and do a full-blown clean of your bong or when your weeds start tasting off, if, uh, it, if the taste is unfamiliar or something dirty, tasting bad, or just off, I would go ahead and do a clean of that bong just to make sure there's no extra contaminants, nothing getting into your lungs that you don't want in your lungs, nothing damaging you or your product or your um, actual piece because that could be detrimental to not only this session but future sessions. So uh, with that, just make sure, we're, we'll recap real quick, just make sure to change your water every single session to make sure you're getting just a, a smooth, clean hit every single time or at least at the beginning of every session and uh, make sure you're keeping an eye on that buildup and bacteria on, in your bong and make sure that you keep mold from growing as much as possible because... Uh, Man, just you don't want to smoke out of a dirty bong. Personally, I uh, I used to let my get my bong get quite a bit dirty uh, before changing the water. Even I'd let it go three or four days, and that was a huge problem. And then uh, after I realized that the dirty water was the problem, I would let my water get yellow, and then I would switch it out. But even then, it would taste bad. So now I just go ahead, dump out the water every single time, make sure I get brand new clear water, new fresh water with no floaties, uh, make sure all of that is brand new every single session, and I haven't had to wash my bong as often as I would have to if I kept the same water in there. So I hope this video helps you guys have better smoking sessions and a uh, better quality of life in general. And uh, when you pass your bong to your friend, he doesn't instantly look at you and say, what the fuck is this? I'm not hitting that. So thank you guys very much. Please hit the like button if you enjoyed this video or if you found it helpful or informational. And uh, I'll see you guys next time, possibly with a how to clean and what method I recommend video. But for now, I will see you next time.